Hi and a warm welcome to Kite Builders, the YouTube channel from Kite Flyers for Kite Flyers. Normally, kite reviews highlighted the news kites on the market, and yes, I would like to talk about a kite which flew across the Atlantic all the way to Europe a short while ago. But is this really a new kite? This one looks familiar, not like a total new creation, and yes, this kite is a well known friend in a new design, quasi a retro kite. The kite I'm talking about has been designed by George Peters more than 20 years ago. 1992, George kept busy himself with studies of delta kites. Out of these studies, George invented the Skybird, a bird kite with a breathtaking design. The US producer Into the Wind discovered this beauty again and placed it on the market as Cloudbird. The kite friend is spoiled for choice. Into the Wind offers the Skybird in three versions, Kahuma, Ai and the here shown Maui. The kite will be delivered in a stable, visual appealing kite bag, with an adequate stripe design of course. Inside the bag you will find the kite and nothing else. No kite line is enclosed. The spine is split into two parts, which is good for the transport. Regarding the transport, the spars of the leading edge and the tail section could be removed from the pockets too. Noticeable are two small spreaders in the tail section, which secures proper form of the bird tail. The main spreader is also split into two pieces and will be fixed on the wing end with aluminium rings and, to be flabbergasted, all that will be put into form by good old tubes. Well, why not? The Cloudbird is a kind of retro kite and retro materials should be allowed. And to be honest, I am happy to see material from the start of my kite building career again in the year 2014. Regarding the spars, you will find a mixture of carbon and glass fiber in this kite. The sail is real artwork, like the good old kites from George Peters. Many pieces of ripstuff have been sewed together. First, sewer of Into the Wind taped the patterns. Afterwards, the patterns have been sewed together and the sewing is close to perfect for a commercial product. Another plus factor, the warp thread and the weft thread matches for around about 95%, which is not usual for commercial kites. Important spots have been reinforced by Dacron. <laughs> On the subject of Dacron, well, again, we are talking about a real retro kite, as the pockets of the leading edges have been made out of 100% Dacron. All in all, the setup of Into the Wind's Cloudbird leaves a good impression. The workmanship is really good, no mistakes are visible and the used materials are coherent. Now let us go to the kite field. Building up the Cloudbird is easy going. Just gather the spine and set the spreaders in place, that's it. We flew our Cloudbird in conditions between 4 and 9 meters per second, which is equivalent to 3 to 5 per 4. In lower wind we used a kite line with 40 deca newton, in higher winds we changed the line to a 70 deca nodal. We had no problems to launch the kite out of the hand. Flurries are no problem up to a medium level, but keep in mind the Cloudbird does not like hard flurries. Well, to be honest, we have been a bit unfair as the Cloudbird is a typical Delta kite and only crazy test pilots will fly such a kite in hard wind. Airborne, the colors of the sail are wonderful. In backlight, this kite is a real beauty. So all in all, Into the Winds Cloudbirds is a wonderful kite. With one exception, the noise. Again, the Cloudbird has been invented back in the 90s, a time where no one took care on a flagging trailing edge. Anyway, should I condemn this kite due to the noise? The answer is no. This is a wonderful eye-catching kite, very good craftsmanship, good mix of materials, a stable flyer and a real beauty in the air. Therefore, without any dumps, thumbs up for the Cloudbird from Into the Wind.